Good evening, everybody. Sorry for the delay. First item on our um, administration and public works agenda is approval of the minutes of January 13, 2020. May I have a motion? Move approval. All right. Any changes? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All, any opposed? Okay. Um, let's first do, uh, let me get this here up here. Um, let's get the uh, payroll and the bills. Um, who would like to take that? Um, Alderman uh, Fleming, would you like to take the first item? Sure. A1 is approval of City Council payroll and bills. Staff recommends approval of City of Evanston payroll for the periods of December 23rd, 19, excuse me, 2019 through January 5th, 2020. In the amount of three million one hundred twenty-one thousand four hundred seventy dollars and seventeen cents, bills list for January twenty-eighth fiscal year. Excuse me, January twenty-eighth, twenty twenty fiscal year twenty nineteen, in the amount of four million two hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred twenty-three dollars and twenty-two cents, and bills list for January twenty-eighth, twenty twenty fiscal year twenty twenty, in the amount of one million seventy-five thousand five hundred ninety-four dollars and fifty-two cents. This is for. Action, I move approval. Second. Second. All right, next, Alderman Sufferman. I move item A2, a contract with Shy Town Cleaners for 2020-2022 multi-year janitorial, janitorial services at multiple city facilities. Staff recommends City Council authorize the city manager to execute a contract for multi-year janitorial services at six city facilities with Shy Town Cleaning Services in the amount of $657,007. Funding will be from four different accounts detailed in the summary depending on the facility being serviced. Breakdown of funds by year will be as follows. 2008. $208,413 for fiscal year 2020, $218,830 for fiscal year 2021, and $229,764 for fiscal year 2022. This is for action. Can you remove that just for later, please? Thank you. Yes, I, I want to talk about that too. Okay, right. good. Um, A3, um, from now on, if you see something yeah. you want to remove, just say it in advance before we... Um, go through it. All right, A3, Alderman Simmons. A3, the contract award with Water Products Company for fiscal year 2020, 21, 22, and 23 distribution <clears throat> system materials. Staff recommends City Council authorize the City Manager to execute an agreement with Water Product Company for the purchase of water distribution system materials for fiscal year 2020, <clears throat> 20, 21, 22, and 23 in the amount of $360,937.95. Funding is provided by the Water Fund. The fiscal year 2020 budget has a budget of 150000 This account has a year-to-date balance of 150000 is for action. Second. Mm -hmm. All right, A4, um, we're being asked uh, to recommend to the council approval of a payment of the estimated annual user charge for 2020 with the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District <laughs> of Greater Chicago for disposal of sludge generated as part of the water treatment process in the amount of $151,800.08 for payments of $37,950.02 um, will be made beginning February 2020 and ending November 2020. Um, the money is from the water fund account. Um, I move approval. Second. Second. Madam Chair, members of the <laughs> committee, I'd like to move item A5. It's a renewal of the annual maintenance and support agreement with Harris Computer Systems for the utility billing software. Our staff is recommending this. Uh, the agreement for the term is March 20th through November 2020 with Harris Computer Systems out of Ontario. Uh, the software, the dollar amount is $36,661.59, and that's coming from the Water Fund. Second. Okay. Um, I have item A6, but to expedite things, I would going to ask to remove A7 off the consent agenda. Can you take A6 too, please? Oh, off. Okay. I have a couple questions. A6, A7. Um, I also have some questions about A12 and A15. Okay, a, did you say A6? Tom said A6. A6 I said A7. Okay. And then I also had 12 and 15 I had some questions for. 12 and 
12 oh, and 15. Oh, okay, so you're yes. jumping ahead. That's okay. good. Thank yeah, you so very we much. Move ahead. Okay. So then I will read A8. Is that okay? Yes, please. <clears throat> Resolution 13-R-20, authorizing the settlement and release of all claims in... Juan Ha versus City of Evanston at L. Staff recommends adoption of this resolution, authorizing the City of Evanston to issue a settlement payment pursuant to a settlement agreement and release um, Kanan Juan Ha versus City of Evanston. Funding will be provided from the insurance fund settlement cost liability for action. Second. A9. Alderman Suffrage. I move item A9, Ordinance 7020, amending Title 10, Chapter 11, Section 12H, Parking Zones, the Transportation and Parking Committee, and staff recommend City Council adoption of Ordinance 7020, amending Title 10, Chapter 11, Section 12H, Parking Zones, to add hourly parking in Lot 1 and remove Lot 38. This is for introduction. Second. All right. Alderman Simmons. A10. Is that correct? Yeah, A10. Ordinance 10020, decreasing the number of Class C liquor licenses for Pete Miller, Evanston, LLC, Rock and Ravioli, and Crepera St. Germain. Staff recommend City Council adoption of Ordinance 10020, decreasing the number of Class C liquor licenses um, for Pete Miller, Rock and Ravioli, and Crepera St. Germain um, at 1512 Sherman Avenue. This is for introduction. Um, just as a point of uh, information, we generally, when we're eliminating licenses, we generally uh, suspend the rules and take action on the same night. Does anybody have a problem with that? I'm, I didn't. I, I support that. Yeah, I didn't read anything in the minutes that would um, uh, object to that. So, would you like to move that also, Alderman Simpson? Uh, <laughs> Move. Simmons. What am I? What am I moving? Um, move. You're moving uh, suspension of the rules and okay. action. Okay. I move uh, for suspension of the rules and action for a ten. I second, second that, Alderman Simmons. Um, a eleven is ordinance eleven o twenty. The local local liquor commissioner recommends city council adoption of ordinance uh, eleven o twenty which amends Class D liquor license from 59 to 60 for Barcelona North, doing business as Tapas Barcelona, 1615 Chicago Avenue, um, Evanston, Illinois. This is for introduction. Second. Uh, Alderman Braithwaite. Yep, Madam Chair, oh, item 812 has been removed. I'd oh, like to move right. item A13, which is ordinance 13-0-20, amending the city code section by amending the Class B liquor license. The, the liquor license commissioner recommends city council adoption of ordinance 13-0-20, which amends the Class B license for movie theaters. The amendment removes the uh, movie rating requirement for PG-13 or R to authorize the sale of alcohol and, inc and increases the drink maximum per transaction from one to two. That's for introduction, and is there anyone minding if we do that for introduction and action? I support that. And do we have anyone here from the movie theater? No, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'll make a motion to suspend the rules, rules to introduce, introduce and for. Action. Uh, introduction. Okay, thank you. Second, um, A14 must be removed from the consent agenda the class of the license is incorrect. We just have to correct that oh, okay. when we remove it. So um, next item is A15. Are you going to bring that back for full consult? Alderman Fleming. Madam Chair. We'll bring it back. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, A15 I removed, so I'll do A16, Ordinance 17-0-20, Amending City Code Section 3-4-8B by amending the city liquor code to require a new liquor license if more than 50% of a business is sold. Liquor commissioner recommends council adopt this ordinance um, that would require a new liquor license if 50% of a restaurant is sold in a year for introduction. Second. Is that everything? Alderman Sussenting. Oh, that's it. Oh, the rest. Oh, okay. The rest are on. Uh, 
Okay. All right. So let's go back. Um, Mr. Stone. Okay. We have to do that. All right. Um, all right, ha the consent agenda has been completed. All those in favor of approving the consent agenda say aye. 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 Take the roll. Okay, for this. All right. Um, any opposed? Sorry. All right. So let's go back. A2 is the first item. That's the contract with Chai Town Cleaners for 2022. It's a multi year janitorial <coughs> services at multiple city facilities, six to be exact. Um, I move approval. Second. All right. Um, questions? Alderman Braithwaite. Thank you. Is this yours? Check on up here for a second. Let me ask a couple questions. So I look at, at this contract, and, and this is one of those, and I think I've made this comment in, in years past, where one would hope that we would be able to find a group of people within our city limits who would be able to fulfill, fulfill this contract. Uh, I realize it's multiple sites and, and <coughs> folks have, in your position have shared that in the past, but in looking through this, you don't provide any details to who else has, has bid on it. So my question is, where did you advertise? Did we get any local traction on this? And what have you done to help promote that? And, and I share that for all staff. I mean, this is one of those that I would think, like, someone would say, wow, what a wonderful opportunity for an Evanston business. So talk to me. Sure. Just, just before you answer that, just to follow up on that, I looked at this and I said, where's the rating system? Where yeah. are the other proposals? Yeah. Who bid? Mm -hmm. I wasn't even concerned with somebody from Evanston. I just wanted to know who where, else? where was the rush to get this work? Yeah. So tell us about that. Sure. I completely agree with everything you just said. Thank Madam you. Chair, members of the committee, Sean Trolick, Facilities and Fleet Manager. Um, I apologize for the lack of detail in the, uh, in the memo, um, but I can go over some of this and explain what our process was. Um, we've had a problem in the past with uh, this particular contract with smaller Evanston-based businesses never really responding to this um, RFP. So this, this time we, went, uh, we, put, we, we put in an effort to reach out to local companies that would do cleaning. Um, we reached out to community, community engagement and sent out a press release for an open house for janitorial services. That open house was held on uh, October 8th of last year. Um, at that open house, only three people, uh, three companies attended it. Out of those three, only one of them was an EBE and one of them was an MBE. Um, we then held a pre-proposal meeting after advertising the RFP and that was held on October 24th. At that time, 13 companies had uh, attended, but only seven companies provided proposals. Um, out of those, uh, there were no Evanston-based enterprises that had um, provided a, a proposal. Uh, we had one WE, WBE and three MWEs. Um, so we, we did proactively reach out and try to get some folks to come in for an open house. Uh, I, I can't say why they're not, uh, why they're not responding. Where, where's where, the evidence of the proposals? Yeah. I mean, where's the, where's, where are the people you vetted and their ratings and why you didn't pick one, why you picked one over the other? We should have had that in there. I, mm -hmm. I apologize. I, I'm, I want to hold this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking not. the same. You, you're beating me to it. And I'm not picturing. Sure. I, I think this is a lesson for all of our staff going into this year. Like this is, you want to have a local business doing this, Absolutely. right? We're, we're right here in the city of Evanston. I'm, and I don't want to <coughs> beat up on these guys in Thorndale, but I'm just like, how the hell does someone from Thorndale come all the way to the city in Evans, Evanston and like execute this? Yeah, I know it's simple, but I'm just saying, so if let's throw it back out to market, I think, and, I, and I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to all of our staff for things that like make sense that we do it, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different wards to promote this in the newsletter. You know what I mean? Sure. It makes us all look good. Right, right. I, right. I do know of one complaint about this, and that is a, a person, and, and I, I had no, um, I know we have deadlines, okay, 
it's got to be in by 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock, whatever yeah. it is. If you come at 201, you're out of luck. I, I know somebody who came in at 201, the door was slammed. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and, and who is a, a woman minority who has a wonderful ongoing firm. So, yeah. but, and I'm not saying this because of this, but I, so I knew that there were proposals out there. Right, but, I didn't. But th this just looked like we cherry-picked somebody. And I, yeah. I can't believe we did that. And right. you're telling me you didn't. I, yeah, I, I can guarantee you we didn't just cher cherry pick someone. Okay. But I understand that the, the, the memo you does not have it. the you details. It. We, we look for these things, and you know that. All right, yeah. Alderman Fleming. Um, I have another question. So I had asked Sean the same question earlier via email. He sent me some information. But the question that I had still was, so I know this, this firm you chose is going to do a variety of buildings. But given there might be some smaller firms, you know, even locally, that maybe don't have the capacity to do all of our buildings, were, was the RFP set up so that someone could bid on one building, or did they have to build on everything? The, the RFP was set up, and it was described in there that there would be the potential that we would break it out. That, that was one of the other things that we had concerns about. Sometimes we get a company that comes and does all the buildings, and then they kind of struggle with keeping up with it. So we thought, you know, we would give the opportunity to break it up if the committee deemed that was the best way to move forward. Um, unfortunately, you know, we, we didn't, uh, we felt like this, this one company was the, was the best one to do all of them. All right. Okay. So just in future for these bigger jobs, in order to open them up to local um, vendors versus saying, you know, we'll consider a proposal that, you know, allows us to chop it up. Maybe you just say, you know, give your best proposal, and if somebody applies only for one, mm -hmm. you know, they can only have the capacity for one building, at least it gets them some contract with the city, sure. and then they can maybe build and next time do all the buildings. But if it's not clear that you are willing to allow them to just bid on one building, people might be discouraged from even doing that if it's left a little bit vague. Sure. Yeah. Well, and also the library, uh, for those who haven't read the packet, the in the audience, the library opted out of going with this company. That's correct. They went with the one we've currently got. So, I mean, there there was some flexibility here, you know. Um, briefly. So the contract's supposed to begin March 2020. I, I, I guess I, and I'm looking at the city manager as well. I want you to have enough time to, that's my suggestion, go back out. I would like sure. for there to be some clear intention i would love to be able to advertise it in my newsletter i'm sure the other alderman would love to do the same with a link that sends them back to wherever all the details are um and i say it also to the city manager i think these are the things that we really want to promote locally that just makes sense hopefully sure. it doesn't break any of our of our normal bidding rules and uh if you give us that opportunity i'm sure that Collectively, we will give you some good local businesses that will take advantage of it. And I always say, Sounds like, great. I, I care about the M, I care about the W, but our focus, my focus, it's always like, let's let's see where we can find our local talent and the folks who live here to pay taxes to give them a shot. Absolutely. Fair enough. Thank you. The 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 two garages that are included in this bid. Uh, is that the office space, or are they going to clean the garage? They're going to clean the lobby spaces, um, more, more of the, not not the actual garages themselves, but. I just <clears> couldn't <throat> see a feather duster <laughs> parking no. spaces. I mean, so what, what exactly, the lobby space is where the elevators are? Correct, that correct. That space? Yes, and then, and then you know, the, the front office. entries and things yeah. like that, so. I see, yeah, because I, I couldn't see how compatible the the work is with the city hall and you know service. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're we're holding this. Yeah. Are, holding we're, it are we we we're removing it? I see. I don't know if we should do. So the direction that I understand is that you would like us to go back up for bid and try to reevaluate re how we could do this. So I think we have a short date. That's the best uh, the best approach here would just be to vote it down and we'll go back out. Uh, otherwise, um, we would just have to bring it back in two weeks and do the same thing all over again. So uh, if I understand correctly, I think we have good direction on what the committee is looking for, and I think we can proceed accordingly. We may need to come back with an extension on our existing contractor uh, to bridge the gap, but um, I think we'll end up with a better result overall. So thank you.
all those in favor of um, supporting the contract with Chi Town Cleaners say aye. All those opposed say no. No. All right. Um, could I see hands? All those in favor, all those opposed to Chi Town Cleaners say no. No. Okay. That fails. All right. The next um, one off the agenda is A. Five? No, okay, my mistake, sorry. A6, Alderman Sufferden. Yeah. Um, just had a question, Dave. Um, Let me I, read it. Oh. Agreement with Northwestern University for the sale of salt and brine. Our staff um, moves uh, that we agree to a three-year agreement to sell road salt and brine uh, to Northwestern University. Um, the products will, the the sale of the products will be deposited in the general fund. I move approval. Second. Okay. Alderman Suffered. Yeah, sure. Uh, Dave, um, so we mark it up 10%. Does that give us a profit, or does that kind of just cover our costs for handling it? And uh, If there's a profit, it's a very slim profit. Okay, so this yeah. is more we're, we're just doing them a solid and using our buying power. Yeah. Uh, it, yes, and we do this also with District uh, 65, 202. Uh, we do we sell brine, which is only 14 cents a gallon, and uh, we sell that to the Skokie Park District. So, okay, we, we're buying it in bulk and okay. storing it. The one thing that Northwestern did was about 10 years ago they helped to pay for the replacement of the salt dome. They made a significant contribution. Uh, okay. For rebuilding the salt dome, so okay, uh, and there was money made then. Do we get a discount or a better rate because we're buying more brine and salt? Or I, I mean, I, I get that this is just a good neighborly thing to do with Northwestern and with Skokie Park District, but I mean, is there a benefit to the city as well? Uh, uh, no, not really. The the salt prices are driven by demand. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. All those in favor of, uh, let's, see, let's see, all those in favor, it's number five, six. All those in favor of the agreement with Northwestern for the sale of salt and brine, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. <coughs> Passes. A7 is resolution um, R. We took that off. Okay. Uh, this is a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a real estate contract for the purchase of um, vacant, uh, the vacant lot located at um, 1829 Simpson Street. All those in favor? Oh, okay. Second? Second. 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 All right. James, uh, we have you signed up to speak to this. Good evening. Good evening, um, council people. Um, my name is James Engelman. I'm from the f Fifth Ward. Um, I w would like to, if you guys could vote on this f and make it either a pocket washroom or a shelter. And I think you should raise the fares for people who don't shovel the snow from $10 to $100 because if you have put, you say, $10, they're going to just... Um, <laughs> Sweep it under the floor, you know what I mean? So, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Alderman Fleming? Yep, so I removed this off the consent agenda. Um, I just personally have some concern, well, not concerns, but in terms of spending the money out of the contingency parks fund, given still the number of parks that are, you know, Ds or just have low grades um, around the city, I cannot support spending money to buy vacant land, particularly. You know, given all of the green space that is in the area already, I'd much rather see this money used to put into direct park improvements around the city. Okay. All right. Um, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of the purchase of the property on Simpson say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Could the no's Sorry, raise their hand? Two no's. Okay. It's three to two. One, two, three, two, two. Thank you. Next item. Uh, what? Eight. Eight. What? A12. <laughs> A12. Um, 
12020, amending class R1 liquor <coughs> license from zero to one for Levy Premium Food Service Limited Partnership, 2705 Ashland Avenue. Uh, this will permit uh, <coughs> the sale of liquor at Welsh Ryan Arena, 2705 Ashland. This is for introduction. Second. Second. And move approval. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh. Um, don't see any lights. Oh, that was, I can explain. Just I took it off so I could vote no, I didn't support it okay. thus far. Okay, thank you. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. no. Two no's. Mm -hmm. A14, this, um, this is the license class. Is this the one that just has to be corrected? And what is the correction? It should be class E, not class A. The ordinance is correct. All right. So I'm going to read this. Um, the problem, committee members, is it just has a typo on the on the um, on the class K. The the ordinance is correct. So ordinance 14020, amending city code section 346 by amending the city's Class E liquor license to permit on site tastings. So the amendment is changing K to E. Could I have an, a second? Second. All right. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now, I, should I move the whole ordinance? Or you can, I think you can move the whole ordinance. All right. I think we've got it. Um, the Liquor License Commissioner recommends City Council adoption of Ordinance 14020, which amends the Class E license for package stores. The amendment permits the on-site <coughs> consumption for purposes of tasting only in stores. This is for introduction. Second. I move approval. Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. All right. Moving right along. 15 is next. Um, ordinance 16020, amending the city code, section 349B, by amending the city liquor code to permit the liquor commissioner to approve early hours request and reduce the fee from $500 <coughs> to $100 per event. Um, this is for introduction. I'll move approval. Second. Second. Yes, Alderman Fleming. Yes, I had a few questions about this. Um, so I, I understand, you know, what it's doing. I guess my question was, we seem to only have, at least in the memo, one business who's asked for this. So my question is, do we have other businesses who use this? Yeah. Um, okay, well, it's not, not in the memo. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I, I'm following your train of thought. Okay. Said, yeah. And then so, um, just problem. the idea behind lowering the price. I would think the only other one maybe would be the um, over by the golf course, the, um, the what's the one where the um, they have the events early the American in the Legion? Yeah. Yeah. The VFW? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They might do that. They have a very early golf mm -hmm. outings. Okay. Um, uh, Hugh, did anyone else request it or was it only the firehouse crew? Uh, Alderman Suffredin, so can you answer these questions? Um, I don't want to presume to speak for anybody, but my understanding is the issue, and Mr. Bozeman, if I'm incorrect, is that we had this category uh, <laughs> contemplated for situations like uh, Celtic Knot uh, during the World Cup, where it was a yeah, yeah. uh, multi-day yep. event. Um, this is this contemplates uh, single-day events. Um, Opening early, I think, for retirement parties and, and events like that, events. and the uh, five hundred dollar fee made that non feasible. Because they would be private parties where people would chip in to have the party, and that would, Is that, that would be I more close? expensive than the party. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, Chairman Ray, members of the committee, uh, Assistant City Attorney Debose. Um, so we, we've gotten uh, one of these in the past year. It was so that Northwestern could serve uh, <laughs> alcohol at a tailgate at an early morning at a, for a, an 11 o'clock game. Um, Caltech Knot is an example of one that we've had in the past. Um, 
one of the one of the reasons for the decrease in cost is the way that the code is currently written. It is not clear if it's five hundred dollars per application. So if Celtic not, for instance, for the World Cup, it was unclear if you paid five hundred dollars for the whole World Cup. That was one application, or if you paid five hundred dollars per day um, that you got the early morning. Um, uh, hours of service, but this we we do not get very many of these. Like like I said, we've had one in the past year, and uh, the reduction in fee we expect to have zero impact on revenue. Okay, Alderman Fleming, thank you. Do you have more to say? No, no, I turn okay. my light on. All right, um, all right. Seeing no more discussion, um, all those in favor of. We're going to treat this as a package, um, allowing the Liquor Commissioner the power to uh, approve the time, and then we will lower the fare, the price to $100 per event. All those in favor say yes. Excuse me, also for, for sporting events where there are like multi-days, I would consider the event, like even if it's a multi-day, like World Club, um, I don't know, I don't know if you can think of anything else. That's, Wait, that, that one comes to mind. So that's, that would cover like a multi-day. So, so currently it's unclear whether it's $500 per day or $500 per a multi-day event. Yeah. Going forward, it will be clear that it's $100 per day. Oh, $100. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I would want to okay. do it per event. Well, no, but like the World Cup and the reason why it's, it's so early is because it's in another country. Exactly. Yeah. It's live. Yeah, yeah. So, well, you know, if they have a big crowd. Let them serve alcohol. Yeah. yeah. hundred dollars. I will support Audubon Braithwaite in that per event. Um, you're saying per event over the series versus right. per day. And you said that, what did you say about the impact on revenue? Uh, curr currently, we get so few of these that it's it's no impact. Right. Yeah. Um, so if if we have it, so it's uh, easier to read and more accessible, then you could probably argue you would have an increase. Let's in let's let's amend it to event. Let's okay. make it clear. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do, does that give you the direction that you need? It does. Okay. Good. All right. So it's per event. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? It's for introduction. If we hear that. You know, all right. Um, is that the end of our? All right. No. Um, no items for discussion. Uh, we have no. No. Planning and development committee meeting. All right. The next uh, thing we'll do is have a city council meeting, and that will be at. Six forty-five. Oh no. Ten to ten to seven. Six forty-five is a little early. Ten to seven.